Three years ago, there was a conversation between the chief constable and myself. He said, would you like to take part in pulling together? And I said, yeah, absolutely. To which I said, well, what is it? What is pulling together? Uh, pulling together is a venture that started back in 2001, I believe. Uh, it started through another journey called Vision Quest. Uh, Vision Quest was partnered with a First Nation gentleman by the name of Roy Henry Vickers and a retired RCMP Staff Sergeant Ed Hill. They did the Journey Vision Quest and after the first year um, it didn't continue but Ed seen the power in what he witnessed on that first journey with Roy and wanted to continue it and so he started organizing pulling together, invited some canoes to paddle down the Fraser River from Hope into the Sunshine Coast. And so they paddled down the Fraser River. Um, my brother was actually one of the ones that was on that journey first, but needed to go to work and called me and asked if I wanted to skip. Um, <laughs> it's about more than just cops, police officers spending time with youth and getting to know each other better. It is about community building and it has become about community building. It's become part of how we start to reconcile the past, reconcile an accurate understanding of the past to acknowledge what has occurred in our past, in Canada's past, and to use that to try to create a better future for everybody, for every every person living in Canada, Indigenous and non-Indigenous. And so the the real goal of Chichioy, the real goal of programs like Pulling Together Now is about connecting communities, about building communities. It's about connecting police to First Nations communities. And so we are always looking for ways to engage with the Squamish. And so the Chichioy is one of the attempts that we make to do that, to build that to build connections, to build connections with Indigenous youth, to build connections with Indigenous elders and the Indigenous community of the Squamish in particular uh, overall, but also to build connections and bridges between communities outside the Squamish. At the time I thought, okay, well, sounds like a very interesting idea. But first we need to get a canoe, a trailer, paddles, life jackets, and training. And I thought, wow, that's a pretty big endeavor, but let's see what we can do. So we reached out to a lot of our community partners. As we went along the process, a canoe was purchased, a trailer was purchased, life jackets, uh, skippers were trained. Uh, I met a fellow by the name of Wes Nahaney, who ended up being my canoe mentor. And when I remember one of the first things I asked him, I said, we're we having a conversation. He said, oh, you know, I think this is a great program. Um, we're going to have First Nations youth in this program, and we're going to have police officers, and they're going to be great. And you know, is this a really good program for First Nations youth and police officers? And he said, hang on a second here. Canoeing and First Nations culture and policing, all those things, they're not just about First Nations youth and they're not just about police officers. If a child from China wants to be in a canoe and wants to learn about the Indigenous people, he should have that right. If a girl from Iran uh, wants to learn how to skipper, um, a northern dancer, she should have that right. 
So that was one of my first lessons. I really had to stop and think, you know, huh, all right, maybe, maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. When we first brought out Chi Chi, I, 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 it was a good day because it meant one more canoe out on the water. Um, when, when I started canoe journeys back in 1993, with tribal journeys um, throughout the Washington coast and the BC coast, there was a total of 19 canoes. Um, I was very fortunate to be in the Squamish canoe that our, our people hadn't traveled in a seagoing dugout in over a hundred years. Um, so when I see new canoes like Chichioi coming out on the water, that's like saying our village is getting bigger, our family is getting bigger. This is Chen Quen Mintomi. It makes my heart feel glad. Chichioi is uh, translated, it's the twin sisters, the name of the mountain up in behind West Van and North Van. And it's a story of uh, two sisters that were taken uh, captive by two northern men. And they ended up falling in love and creating a family. The ladies ended up staying up in the north for a while and were brought back eventually this is like uh, goes back to the time of creation of the lands and the two sisters their father who was a great siam was one of the what we know as the highest brothers and they're today known as the transformers the two sisters when they came back to this territory from their captives territory their their father wanted to honor them and asked them what they wanted. All they asked for was peace and harmony. And so they were transformed into the mountains that we see today, known as Chichior, today also known as the Lions or the Sisters. They were transformed into those mountains uh, so that our people, whenever we look at it, we remember peace and harmony in amongst the, uh, the people of the land. Chichioi uh, was, I believe, chosen for the West Van Police Canoe because of the teachings that go along with Chichioi and because uh, Chichioi, the sisters, kind of represent this part of the world. They represent uh, the area that West Vancouver Police is responsible for and it's also a way for us to um, to encourage our kids to look at their history, to um, to find out what uh, what the teachings are behind the stories that we tell. I was invited. My husband and I were invited to come to the blessing of Chichioi because the canoe on the side of it says "In memory of Jono," and Jono is our son. Jonathan was 21 years old. He he passed away from cancer. And my brother was involved in helping purchase the canoe for West Van Police Department. It was important to me on a very personal level in, in that our son loved the outdoors and spent a lot of time with um, youth at risk, helping them with their tutoring. And so we realized and recognized the fit, the good fit that the canoe was for the West Van Police Department. I think the canoe for West Vancouver Police um, is on a natural course and the attention that uh, it is receiving is allowing areas of the um, field of education, the high schools, the elementary schools, uh, the teachers, the people around the neighborhood are seeing that um, there is another way to be on the water and it will just keep on evolving. More and more of my community come up and, and say what a good job they're doing. We have a good community relationship with West Bank PD. Finally being in, 
able to see it all coming to fruition. Uh, it, it's just amazing. Like the family is getting bigger. There's the birth of a new canoe.